A Senate Democrat report shows that torture programs were more gruesome and widespread than the Secret Service claimed. Excuse me, I always get that confused. The Secret Service and the CIA. I meant the CIA. So the Senate Intelligence Committee on Tuesday released a highly anticipated 500-page report of, of the CIA's post-9-11 torture programs, providing a sobering glimpse into one of the darkest chapters of the United States government's history. In the report, a product of a five-year investigation, Senate investigators revealed um, scores of details from the systematic and individual failures by the agency's personnel who ran the enhanced interrogation programs, the government's emphasis for system... Um, and, you know, the, the government's emphasis for systematic torture during the George W. Bush administration. The program involved capturing terrorist suspects and shipping them to secret overseas prisons where they were subject to techniques such as waterboarding, freezing, electronic shock, and on and on and on and on and on. The CIA program has been long criticized as an un-American and a chilling departure from the nation's views. Opponents allege that it is resulted in gross abuses and inhumane treatment of detainees, some of whom eventually reveal not to have been involved in terrorist organizations. America, let me say this to you. Our Bill of Rights, um, one of the Bill of Rights amendments says, you know, you have the right to, you know, no cruel and unusual punishment. Our founding fathers understood, they understood some things they got, some things they didn't get, but they understood the ideal that in order for our democracy to work, in order for us to be the true city upon the hill that, you know, John Winthrop wanted when, you know, they created, you know, the, the colonies in Massachusetts, in order for all this to happen, we have to be a nation that is above board, above level, when it comes to things like the rule of law. Now, don't get me wrong, 9-11 was by far probably one of the worst things that happened to this country, right? It was sad, it was awful, um, we Americans lost lives, an attack happened on our shore, and I get it. And in the vitriol, right, and in the, in the urgency to, what's the word I'm looking for here, to say, you know, to go get them back, right, to get revenge for what they did to us. We let folks like George W. Bush, George Tenet, Dick Cheney, Scooter Libby, Condoleezza Rice, and I can go on and on, Donald Rumsfeld. We let individuals, Paul Wolfowitz, we let individuals like them go down to the National Archives, take a fireman's axe, and smash our Constitution into pieces. In the ideal of revenge, we compromised what makes America a great nation, a constitution that has lived on, and people have modeled after our constitution for 200 years. And George W. Bush and his cronies have broken that. And this torture report proves that. Now we saw, Joe, we saw, you know, CIA director Brenner come out and sort of say, you know, this was in, you know, this is not that bad, but it indeed is bad because we need to be Americans wherever we go. What makes our country great is not that we have the greatest military. What makes our country great is that we lead by example. We are a country of ideals and values. Whether you're Democrat, Republican, or Independent, you've got to have a problem with this ideal that our government, whenever they choose to do it, can violate our own constitution so they can quote unquote get revenge. And what point in time do we get to where government tyranny outside our borders begin to become, begins to become government tyranny inside our borders, i.e. they start torturing Americans? This America has to be a tipping point for us. Either we choose to roll the ball back and demand more accountability and demand that we truly live up to our Constitution, or we let this continue to go forward. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, in a year, in two years, in five years, in 20 years, in 15 years, those same torture procedures that you're seeing happening are going to start happening right here in the United States of America.